Yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the pip boy and that fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes, I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god, the man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who were they? That blue is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> Warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old-fashioned human. So, do you think they could be involved? The Institute, or one of their agents? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Thanks, Piper. I'll talk to him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. <laughs>